Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. There's a bit of a steam fest on at the moment. Quite a few VR demos available. This one is 30 gigabyte. So we're going to give it a blast, give it a go. It's called The Last Taxi. I'm playing on the Rift S today. Let's dive in, let's have some fun. Okay guys, here we are inside the demo. I've got some robot hands. Graphics look really nice so far. Um, I can't change the settings menu. So we're going to jump into a new game. Hey, name's Buck. Hope you didn't have trouble finding my place. Oh, <laughs> well now it's your place, I guess. This quaint little hub was Buck's taxi. But I'm getting too old for other people's problems. Ha, gotta smooth and prattle. Probably made a few enemies. I know book. Sorry, uh, uh, to get this transaction over with, you'll need the tablet paired to the vehicle. It's updated to the latest OS, but I need to delete a few apps, <laughs> a couple of personal ones. While I'm uh, deleting, you should get comfortable. There's a little knob on the workstation to adjust how close it sits to the chair. Okay, this one. Then use the handles to glide the workstation closer or farther. Okay. When it's comfy, rotate the knob back to the lock icon. Okay. The control system is pretty much the same in the taxi. Okay. The fully upgraded matchy matchy model. Here you go. Tablet is set to a new user and ready to be dropped onto the workbench. Cheers, mate. That's a really nice looking taxi, by the way. So, as you can see, the game's got like a uh, cell shaded. Just pick up the tablet and drop it centerish onto the table. It should fix itself into place. Type of atmosphere. Put that in there. The tablet syncs with your taxi, so each ride, including tips and bills, will load up in this room. This pretty thing is your brand new license, ready to pair with the taxi systems. Okay, learner's license. New item acquired. I know it seems odd to move at two feet, but uh, the people in charge are a backward paperwork circus. Okay, we need to scan it over here. It needs a quick scan. Just move your new license over to the scanner found on the right side of the workbench. Okay, analyze. Driver's learning permit. Congratulations, you have your learner's permit. Now I can legally sell you the business and run through training. You could just figure it out, but we humans ought to stick together. Here's the bill. And I'm gonna be firm on the price. May seem like a lot, but keep in mind you're getting the place and a reputable turnkey business. Pick up the bank card and tap it to the bill. Payment should happen instantly. Oh well, it better. I can't afford it, mate. I've got 10,000 credits. Okay. A pleasure. You're now the proud owner of the only customized human-controlled vehicle in progress point. Time to start your first shift. Okay, where's Bruce Willis when you need him? So the taxi reminds me of the film... Time to start your first shift. The Fifth Element. Okay, first shift, start shift. Alright, let's move. You might have an ID, but you still need the test. Let's head to the scrapyard. I'll dump the spare taxi parts. It's a shame I can't sell them to you, but taxi newbies are barred from the off-market stuff. We're going to Subcity. Select. Law says you can only start your route at stops previously visited to prevent you from going to restricted areas. You'll be ticking off stops in no time. It ain't safe out there, but I'm glad someone is still willing to fight the rise of autos. 
even if it is futile. <laughs> okay, oh, I ah, guess... Some fresh air! <coughs> say, ignorance is strength. Attach the tablet to the taxi console, just like on the workbench. Testing, one, two, can you hear me in the taxi? I ah, can hear you. Technology, I swear. Any we have time another... I employ a human coder, it never works. Equal opportunity program always sends me the worst. Yep, I can hear you, mate. Oh, then we can continue. We have an error message, though. As for the error on the screen, well, I uh, wasn't completely honest. Uh, the taxi's a messy retrofit, so it pulls energy in unconventional ways. I internal power for the engine, but the instruments are powered by the driver. Uh, who's usually a bot. Uh, in order for a human to drive, you need mods. Which is gonna cost a bit more. It's a biochemical energy mod. Uh, just jam it into one of your ears. Uh, then the nanos will go to work. Okay, so I do like how you can pull the console I'm towards you. I'm sorry. I swear, the nanos only tickle. I've got a seat in the box. So this is my taxi look. Pretty cool actually. So that goes in my ear. Well, this part might be a bit uncomfortable. Select which hand gets the vial placement, usually your dominant hand, then place both of your hands on the screen. Okay, vial is going to be this hand. Okay. If you thought that was bad, you should see the process to reverse it. <laughs> Congratulations, you're a little less human. And when you meet the passengers, what's left of your humanity will go out the door. Your new mod converts blood into compatible energy. Yes, you'll literally be putting your blood and sweat into this. Harnessing bioenergetic adenosine triphosphate systems through radioactive conversion into direct current for the taxi. Uh, so I've been told. The first thing needed for the energy mod is replacement vials. Okay. They're in the compartment above your head. Grab one and pop it into your glove's empty socket. Okay. Nice. Good. Now you can watch your life drain. Uh, generally, you'll use one vial a day. Any more and fatigue kicks in. I always got woozy and preferred to stuff my face with kelp wraps. Uh, but to each their own. Once it's full, just push down the vial to lock it. Okay, so my controllers are getting in the way here. Controls feed off the energy emitted from your hands. The vial auto-ejects once empty. So be mindful when to pop a new one back in. Okay. Uh, no. And now, onto the controls. Wipers clean off water, gunk, and mystery substances from the windshield. It has two speeds, but the faster the speed, the more energy consumption. This it? Your hand will fill up the wiper's energy pool, but keep in mind that as long as the wiper is on, the pool will drain until empty. So okay. turn off the wipers when they're not needed to save the juice. It's not easy to stop mid-air, so avoid collisions by honking, and other drivers will speed up. Give it a go! Is that the horn? Technology may have progressed, but there's nothing quite as satisfying as mashing buttons to make yourself heard. Drive safe and report now, the two illegals. Upper controls. They're lovingly named some type of marketing mumbo jumbo that I can never quite remember. So I'll just call them the scanner and the shield. The scanner needs a good flick of the wrist to get the gyro moving. So that's the scanner. Great. Oh, right. It analyzes your surroundings to point out anything that could help or harm. That's cool. As you get more advanced controls, It'll point out more things. Last one we need to test is the shield. Now grab it. And throw it at your windshield for quick protection. 
The shield will protect from pretty much anything. Collisions, debris, angry automatons, you name it. But it only protects your vehicle. Okay. Crash into someone, even with the shield on, and you'll be paying their bills. Congrats. You're ready for the open flyways as a driver in training. Currently, you're on a learning license. But after passing my test, you'll get upgraded to level one. They don't let inexperienced drivers tour the rich. So put in the work to get coveted routes. You might have six license levels above you, but it just means you have a career ladder to climb. <laughs> okay. Could burn daylight teaching you all the nuances, but let's get to the scrapyard before it closes. Let's go. So we need to uh, pick up. <sighs> been a while since I've been back here for a ride. It ain't bad. Nice view. Wow. This is interesting. Glad to be at the helm. Anyways. In order to get your license level numero uno, you need to pass the driver's test. So I'll be your executioner. <coughs> I mean driving examiner. Just be a cautious driver. The taxi is no good as a pile of scrap. Take a good hit and you'll have to pay for repairs at the end of the shift. <laughs> Yikes. And as a passenger, I have to say that it does not make for a pleasant ride. Eh, but I'm sure you'll do fine. Okay, where are we going? It said to go left, I think. I hope I pass. Okay, that looks dangerous. Ah, I've been driving these flyways for as long as I can remember. And I'm still not sure whether I'll miss it when I leave. The Get ready with the wipers. Was my dad's. <laughs> back then, it seemed like a good business to carry on. Everyone will okay. always need to get somewhere, That's he cool. told me. <laughs> he was right about that. Except now, the only place worth going requires a rocket. Let me scan. A place worth going. Yeah, Enceladus. It's the brainchild of Elias Tusk, the great business magnate and entrepreneur. The lucky ones Danger get a one-way Arco rocket ticket to Tusk's amazing colony on Enceladus, a moon orbiting Saturn. That was lucky. Okay. Which is where I'm heading. Leave this mess of the last city on Earth and try out a fresh start. Everyone is obsessed with his every venture, but for good reason. I can't think of a more smart, humble, and benevolent person. And here I go on about my own life. I'm supposed to be training you. So, in case you haven't figured it out yet, keeping passengers happy by chatting raises their star rating and pads your pockets with tips. But it's not just about making the ride comfortable and safe. With automatons taking over every aspect of life, people are craving human interaction and it's will blab like on and on. So listen to their stories and tell them what they want to hear. My advice is to do whatever it takes to win them over. Okay, why are those always pointing upwards? I don't understand that bit. <laughs> well, you might have to rethink that strategy. Minus star, happy why? customers leave happy tips. Same with a good temperature setting, some music, and a bump-free ride. Keep everything smooth sailing, including the conversation, and you'll make some friends. Okay, so there's no haptic feedback when I do anything. I'd expect a bit of haptic feedback when I do like the shields and the radar, that sort of thing. What's that? Something beeping in my ear. Of course, not everyone has the resources to fly to some far off moon like me. Some just feel lucky to live in Progress Point. With endless fields of ice, and lifeless mountains beyond, I can understand why. 
But problems arise when you cram the last of humankind into a box. For example, look around. We're in the subsidy. I bet you're not used to all this yet. The Decimal Ridge folks never are. You might feel the government looming, but they're not the real threat. We get hostile forces here like the Reclaimers. And, of course, your run-of-the-mill thieves, bandits, and charlatans. It's an entire political ecosystem. Oh, and uh, sorry to hear you were laid off from your tech job in Decimal Ridge. I've always wanted to be a programmer myself. Thought it always looked like a bit of boring, steady fun. Scrappies. That's Pops. why opportunities like Enceladus are so attractive. Gives everyone a new start. This job will have to do. Mm hmm. Oh, and uh, just a little advice. Over the course of your career, you're going to meet a lot of different people. Most will be harmless, but some are playing a whole other game. They'll want to use you or get you to join their cause. Don't get entangled. Let the mysteries leave with the passenger. If you allow yourself to get caught up, well, this city will destroy you. That's why I'm leaving. Once I sell these last items, I'll have all I need to get off this ice rock. See you later then, mate. Have a good trip. You know, I think I'll miss this city. Nothing lets you smell the essence of humanity like driving a taxi. As much of a dingy mess as it is, it felt good knowing all the ins and outs. No matter where I went, it felt like home. Driving's all I know. Don't imagine there's much need for drivers out on one of Saturn's moons. But I'll make my own way. A new world is always looking for willing hands. Hey, uh, <laughs> sorry again about tricking you with the vile mod and everything. I was worried that if I'd been up front, you'd have backed out. Some people are really opinionated about the whole body modification thing. You know, you're not bad. It's a shame we didn't meet before my trip off planet. Would have hired you on the spot. Ah, I just remembered. There's one thing left to teach. Reporting criminal passengers. Okay. It's required by the Central City Authority. And they'll pay you for any genuine illegals or criminal activity you call in. If you want a proper climb to the top, you'll need to be a rat. Plain and simple. There's recording discs stored in the above compartment. A bit bulky, as it's an old system, more interested in being tamper-proof than sleek. As soon as the disc is picked, it's coded to the current passenger. But in order to properly report someone, you'll need to record damning evidence. When someone says, Chuck's taxi was a front for money laundering, you'll need to pop the card into the slot below your tablet. In there, okay. Once the disc is in, press the button to record evidence. It only does short intervals, so be strategic. Your onboard computer is equipped with a government-issued criminality analyzer. It interprets, reads biometrics, runs stats, and other sciencey junk. The device keeps track of anything recently said, so you can press record even after the criminal act was recently discussed. But the faster you record, the better. Still, in the end, it's just a machine. It may give false positives. That's where the human aspect shines. Listen to your passengers closely and trust what you hear, more than what the analyzer says. For example, and get ready, ah, <clears throat> death to all security forces. Okay, that's recorded. Press record if you haven't already. <laughs> if it wasn't a dud disc, a confession or threat would be worth a lot. Good thing it was a lie. <laughs> Uh, also, since the analyzer can be a bit delayed, you'll get better rewards if you detect a crime before the analyzer does. It's their way of rewarding actively involved, upstanding citizens. Okay. So, that's it. Congratulations. Your license has now been upgraded to level one. Nice. Congrats. 
it will let you travel anywhere in the subsidy. But there is a lot more city to see. So work hard and you'll soon be driving the bigwigs. Oh, anything you're given, like this license, can just be placed above the tablet. That's everything. Okay. The business is yours. Thank you. Well, good luck. You're gonna need it. Oh, and try to remember. You're a rare thing. A human driver. We got something those mech buckets will never have conversation. When people talk to a machine, they know it's all code and trickery. When they talk to you, there's a chance at a real connection. Our last bastion in an autonomous world. How do you know I'm not a robot? And can I report him for talking too much? <laughs> Data disk detected. In there. Book admitted to money laundering and harming security forces. Okay, let's delete. Passenger summary being trained by Book. I think these arrows here are for changing the lane. No, that'll be fine. Requirements for the next level. Insurance needed. Complete two shifts. And we need 3,000 coins. Confirm. Pick up the tablet. Okay, we're back at the base. New item required. Licence level one. Do we need to scan that? Okay, we need to analyse the licence. So it grants me access to the entire Neon District subsidy. And there's some shops here, look. Okay, so... Let's see what these are. Level 1, that's the uh, quest. Earnings. Stash licenses. New changes to form 424D. Oh, this is news. If I read the news, it might um, give me some information about bad people I pick up. So we can select a news icon and then read more. Okay. So lots of reading in this game, lots of talking in the game. Error. Okay, what's that? My stats. Distance travelled. Passengers picked up. Okay, let's start the shift. Energy mod. Do I need an energy mod? Shall I buy one? Okay, we have an energy mod. Start shift. Main story or side story. I guess we can only select Scrappy Scrapyard. Okay, ignorance is strength. Okay, this is all moved again. Okay. So, destination migrant tunnel. We have the bot bot 469. Is he in the back? Not yet. Oh, it's snowing, look. Look at the snow. We've got some biofuel. We're going to pick him up. Would you care for a zinc chloride soldering check? Hello, mate. You alright? Okay. 
Like this. No, I'm good, thanks. Oh, it is a fairly standard check. It will not inhibit your duties and is intended as a precautionary measure to ensure the proper maintenance of your systems. Or perhaps you are in need of an epoxy repair with 200 grit axle grinding? Are you trying to be funny? In that case, an ebony synthetic wax with high sheen buff? Your coatings are looking subpar for human interactions. Worst I have seen in all my years of auto taxi repairs. Do you think I'm a robot? My goodness, I have made a nominal error in entering your non-automated vehicle. I thought you were a mechanized taxi, which I repair. Well, for now. I believe I am good at my job and enjoy it very much. I possess knowledge of over 20,000 adjustments to improve the quality of the transport. You do sound good at your job. Oh! Yes! In order to maximize productivity, auto taxis are perpetually stationed on the roads. So to properly maintain and repair them, bot, -bot units, like myself, attend to them on the go. Okay, so I get the gist of this demo. Yes, well, not for long. In a few weeks' time, we will be replaced like the bots before us. They are releasing the newest model, Bot Bot Bot, or Bot Cubed, as my co-workers like to joke. Heh heh heh. Capable of over 30,000 duties with customizable appearances, I myself have only a mere 20,000. Okay, so what will you do? I have been in communication with other automatons, from other industries. It seems that hard-working autos being replaced by the next generation of machines is a trend that is common over all employment stations. We on the message board are trying to determine the best way to secure our employment and continued use. Perhaps a union of some sort. Okay, that sounds suspicious. Let me hear. Uh... It is perfectly legal. Automaton groups are permitted as long as they are subject to human supervision. Of course, we communicate far too fast for our human moderator to properly keep up with the content. But I worry, that law would also apply to our union. How can we properly be represented if all of our actions must be sanctioned by those who oppress us? Okay, I'm out. Hmm, yes. Given the proper human supervisor and the combined computational power of an automaton union, I calculate we would be an efficient team. But would that be enough? Clearly a union did not help your employment, and that was a human union. Automatons were built to be replaced. Okay, let's try to get some info from this guy. Interesting. Perhaps the problem is not in how humans treat machines, but in how employers treat employees. Perhaps working alongside humans is the best way to make sure everyone is treated properly. Yes, the disposability of automatons is an issue that has long been overlooked. Unprecedented actions must be taken to cause an unprecedented change. Hopefully through this, automatons will finally be able to claim their place in this city. I look forward to the future. Thank you. But first things first, an automaton union must be organized. I will consult the message board and build a list of human candidates for our supervisor. I would offer your name as the first candidate, but I'm afraid our selected supervisor will need to be part of a recognized automation employing industry. Thank you. Thank you, and have a pleasant rest of your shift. And the same to you, my friend. Okay, guys, so the idea of the game is to talk to the customers, find out if they do anything wrong. At the same time, we need to make sure we uh, manage and control the taxi, try not to hit anything, keep the windows clean, that sort of thing. Oh, there we go. Okay.
Okay, nothing to report. I got four and a half star rating. I got some cash. Okay, so we're going to the uh, Reclaimer Outpost. We're going to pick up the uh, pirate guy. Eyes forward, you festering pus maggot! And keep your trap shut. This is a taxi, not an exhibition. Yes, sir, sorry. So, you know who you're dealing with? Good. We of the Thieves Guild don't take too kindly to impolite company. You just stick to your job, you'll be just fine. Whatever you've heard of pirates, we are not without honor. We're less of thieves and more of businessmen. And he I'm just really about cool. to seal the deal of the century. Okay, we've got fallen rocks here. Arr. I do some business in the pirate's den. That's where I got these mods from. But it's easier to find good deals if you're offering a service of your own. I go out to the patch and people hire me to find specific parts. I also sell whatever other interesting scraps I find out there. But I'm also the best repairman in the guild. Which means I can put quite the price on my service. So we're going to try to go left here, look. <laughs> I think we're going left. Her. I'll have you know I like my life the way it is. It's a life I made of my own grit. Something a whining pup like you couldn't understand. No one's cared two spits about me since before my mum died, rest her soul. But I carved my own way through. All my life, I've been picking at scraps. But now, I'll finally have a piece of my own. Yeah, what are you going to do? Well, me and the boys are planning a little mission. You see, we usually steal Obsolcorp mods from the warehouses. But they must be getting smarter. Because the mods we've been stealing recently have been faulty tampered with. So, we decided that we're going straight to the source, the Obsolcorp Assembly Center. We're raiding the Obsolcorp Assembly Center tonight. Oh, what's that? Hoping to get a shipload of mods to sell and the carnage planned. <laughs> if we can destroy data servers, then the price of the stolen goods will skyrocket. We could sell them back for hundreds of times the value. That is, if there's anyone left there to buy it! I'm out. My only issue is putting this in with my controller. I keep hitting my hand and everything. It's really hard. There we go. I see laser fire. Ah! You don't get it. Pain is a teacher. Without pain, people would never realize something is wrong. And sometimes, you have to inflict that pain to make them see. Weak become stronger. Selfish become considerate. Even the proud will become humble. Okay, I guess so, mate. <laughs> Forget about it. It takes a few decades of experience to tango with the likes of me. Once I get my new ship, I'm gathering the boys. After years of scrounging for scraps, we finally gathered enough firepower to take back what should have been ours. Let the blaze of Obsol Corp light up the sky and remind everyone, you can't keep it all to yourselves, not when there's enough for everyone. Farewell, Rust Roach. And may our paths never cross again. See you later, mate. Okay, so there's a, lo a really nasty vignette at the top and bottom of my screen. I don't know if you can see that on the video. And there's no options to get rid of that at the moment. Okay, we're going to report this. Okay, again, I think I broke the game. There's no... There's no pop-up here for the uh, report.
Okay guys, I guess that's the end of the demo. There's no way for me to report the passenger. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one.